there is one quite instructive but not so known story from Srila Prabhupada's life when he encountered a person materially and spiritually senior to him. It was Lalit Prashad, the younger brother of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati and the disciple of Bhakti Thakur, who was 96 years old at that time. They spoke about the future of uh, the house where Bhakti Vinod Thakur took birth. Lalit Prashad cancelled the agreement and Srila Prabhupada became very disturbed. In a strong voice, he asked, isn't it sinful that you cannot develop the birthplace of Bhakti Vinod Thakur and you don't want to let anyone else to do it either? He intensely asked the same question four or five times every time repeating it even louder. According to Jayapata Kaswami, it was not on the level of shouting at Lalit Prashad, but just one volume below that. No question. A shocking experience for Srila Prabhupada's disciples present and nobody was able to say anything. The disciples were overwhelmed with the experiences. They also felt a profound affection for Lalit Prashad. Then, as they walked out, Srila Prabhupada turned to the disciples, knowing what they were thinking about, and said something remarkable that resolved their concerns. He said, because I asked a question, there was no offense. What do we get from this extraordinary interaction between Srila Prabhupada and Lalit Prashad? Uh, first of all, let us recognize this was a rare interaction between Srila Prabhupada and someone senior to him. Also, that was an event where Srila Prabhupada, as junior, expressed disagreement with his authority. Disagreement with the seniors is something we might experience, and here we get a hint on how to go about it without making an offense. It can be done via taking shelter of questions. We do not need to shout, this is obviously an exceptional situation with an exceptional personality involved, dealing with very important matter. But asking question is the way to go, even if we are obviously right on a particular issue.